Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin, and I'm a mathematician. And this is how to teach decimals, percents, and fractions to the eighth grade. When you think about using decimals, fractions, and percentages, basically what this is is three different words to represent the same value. So if we look at a real world example, we would look at buying a shirt that's on sale. A sign that you might see would say 50% off, but you could go on the other side and you would see a sign that said half off. And essentially what they are is they're two numbers that represent the same quantity. So that's what we are going to focus on is converting from decimals to fractions to percentages. So let's just go ahead and take an example. Let's take a decimal 0.75. If I want to convert this to a percentage, all I have to do is take the decimal place and move it to the right two times and add the percent symbol. So I move it one, two, and then I add the percent symbol. So this becomes 75%. Now, if I want to take this number and convert it to a fraction, what I do is I take the original number, 75, and I put it over 100. This is a correct fraction, but it's not in reduced form. So if I want to reduce the fraction, what I do is I look at the numbers and I say, what numbers do they have in common? 75 is divisible by 25. It goes into 75 three times. 25 goes into 100 four times. So the fraction that represents 75% um, and also 0.75 is 3 fourths. Let's just do a few more examples. Um, if I take, let's start with a fraction, let's take 1 fifth. And let's say that I want to convert that to a decimal point. The way that we convert to a decimal point is by taking the top number and dividing it by the bottom number. So I'm going to take 1 and I'm going to divide it by 5. 5 doesn't go into 1, so we have to add a decimal point here, and that allows us to put a 0 there. 5 goes into 10 two times. So our decimal point for 1 fifth is 0.2. Now it's time to convert this to a percentage. The way we convert from a decimal to a percentage is the same way we did up here, where we move that decimal place two times. So I'm going to take the decimal and I'm going to move it 1, 2, I'm going to drop my decimal and add the percent sign and fill in any spots with a zero. So this is going to become 20 percent. Let's go ahead and do one final example. Let's take uh, 25 percent and let's convert it. So we're beginning with the 25 percent and let's say we want to convert that to a fraction. When it's already in percentage form, we just take it and we put it over 100. So this becomes 25 over 100. And when we reduce, we know that 25 goes into itself one time, and it goes into 100 four times. Now what we want to do is put it into a decimal form. Now there's two ways that we can do this. We can do it where we divide the top number by the bottom number, and we can also use the percentage and just move the decimal point. If we use the percentage, basically what we do is we take the decimal, and we move it to the left, one, two, and we add it. So we know that the decimal point is going to be 0.25. We can also take the top number and divide it by the bottom number, which is going to be one divided by four. Four doesn't go into one, so we add a zero. Goes in there twice, we get a remainder. Four goes into 25 times. And you can see that 0.25 and 0.25, you get the same answer. So that's a good thing. So this is a little bit about how to work with fractions and decimals and percentage and converting from one to the next. A lot of times in life, you do this when you're baking. Maybe you're baking and you need one third cup of sugar. But when you go to the grocery store, you need 75 cents to purchase that package of gum. So this is why we use we have to use these to convert from one to the next. So this has been a little bit about how to teach fractions, decimals, and percentages to eighth grade.